Wait, who's she? Imperial Grand Admiral. Thrawn. Who? If Thrawn survived, does that mean Ezra? Who's Ezra? <sighs> Clone Wars. The Clone Wars? Wait, they're, they're not the same show? 27 episodes. 77 episodes. 133? Well, f that. Disney has slowly been building an expanded Star Wars universe comparable to the MCU, but the likes of the Ray Center trilogies, which kind of featured their own endgame moment, sort of. Well, there are more of us, Poe. Also, Ahsoka, and even some non-Jedi-centered properties like Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and Andor, which prove there's more than lightsabers to the franchise. But the problem is, there's too much backstory to catch up on for Star Wars to ever reach the kind of global appeal of the MCU. Nine feature films in the main story, spin-off films like Rogue One, incidentally my second favorite Star Wars film after Empire, and several TV shows. Now, I know what you're thinking. Desmond, anyone who wants to get into the MCU right now would have to go through 32, that's right, 32 feature films. Not to mention the many MCU TV shows which have become mandatory viewing for understanding the wider universe. And you know what? You are correct, sir! But the biggest difference is that Marvel told us to be prepared. By the time The Avengers came out in 2012, it was preceded by five MCU films. It was clear they were going to continue with the shared universe concept, so even if Avengers was your first MCU film, you had more than enough time to catch up. Clone Wars came out in 2003, The Clone Wars in 2008. When Obi-Wan came out in 2022, the presence of characters like the Grand Inquisitor made it clear you had to go back and watch it all. Not to mention the fact that the last time we saw Obi-Wan was in 2005's Revenge of the Sith, which you'd also have to go back to watch if you wanted to enjoy this new shared universe. Again, that's the problem. When these properties came out, there are no plans for the current shared concept. So if you hadn't watched them, it'll be impossible for you to enjoy the new entries without having questions. Who the f is this? The MCU made it clear that for everyone to enjoy the franchise, they had to stay up to date and were given ample time to do so. With Star Wars, it seems more like you'd have to be an established longtime fan to really enjoy it. And honestly, one of the best things about the MCU is that you don't have to be a comic reader to understand what's going on. It's set up in such a way that, sure, there's a couple of cool nuggets for us comic book geeks, but not to the extent that the so-called casuals will be scratching their heads most of the time. So unless Disney's target audience for Star Wars is only mainstay fans, they'd better figure out a way to get the rest of us interested. That's my take on it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below.